Okay, so let's get into Galatians chapter 4, verses 8 through 20. And what you're going to notice here is that Paul gets really personal here. He's, he's going to get, it's almost like he gets his feelings hurt a little bit. Uh, let's take a look there and see what it says. He says in verse 8, Formerly when you did not know God, you were slaves to those who are not by nature gods. But now that you know God, or rather are known by God, how is it that you're turning back to those weak and miserable forces? You wish to be enslaved to them all over again. So really the, the question we're asking here is this. Paul didn't want them to go back to paganism, but why not? What was the big deal? Was it just because it's in the rules not to go back to paganism? It, it's more than that. See, Paul's appealing to something very personal here. Let's go back and take a look at this. He says the reason is because you know God, or rather are known by God. In other words, he's appealing to relationship. And this is really good for us to think about in our own lives. You know, why is it that you you obey God? Why is it that you try to keep the rules? Why is it that you want to find out what pleases him and do it? It's because he's your father. It's because you're in relationship with him. It's because you're known by God. And so because of that, you want to please him. I mean, doesn't that make sense in our lives? If you have kids, you want your kids to please you, not just because of the rules, but because they love you and you love them. I mean, that's always the best motivator for the good things that we do in our lives, right? But now as we read on, Paul continues to make it personal. Um, as we read on in verse 13, let's take a look there. He says, as you know, it was because of an illness that I first preached the gospel to you. And even though my illness was a trial, you didn't treat me with contempt or scorn. In verse 15, so where is the blessing to me now? He says, I can testify that if you could have done so, you would have torn out your eyes and given them to me. See, here's what Paul's saying here. He's saying, guys, you helped me when I was sick. I mean, he says, you, I know you would have torn your eyes out for me. That's, that's how much the Galatians loved Paul. Paul was in a relationship with them. He had brought the gospel to them. They loved each other. And now Paul comes back and they're, they're getting suckered into a different gospel by these Judaizers. And it just broke Paul's heart because of relationship. And then in verse 19 we see this kind of this ultimate expression now of Paul's personal disappointment with them and, and really that he feels personally responsible for them. Let's take a look at that in verse 19. Paul says it like this, My dear children, for whom I am again in the pains of childbirth until Christ in, is formed in you, how I wish I could be with you now and change my tone because I'm perplexed about you. Look at, the, look at what he, he's saying there. He's saying, I, f I feel like, I'm giving birth to you again. Man, talk about personal. He feels this personal responsibility for them. If you're a mom or a dad and you had a kid, I remember for my first kid, when we came home from the hospital, we were like, what are we going to do? We, that we, we didn't know if we were ready for this. I don't know if any parent ever feels ready at the beginning because you feel this great responsibility. And this is what Paul felt as well. And, and it's, because, it's because they were starting to turn away from the gospel. And it was a personal thing. Why don't you just hit pause right now and talk about some of these questions in red and see if you can relate to Paul before we move on to the next and last video for today's lesson.